Guys, welcome to the best swing trading channel on YouTube. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Welcome to the weekly live stream. I hope you guys are killing it and making that money in the market like I am. So guys, today's video, we're going to be talking about how to swing trade. We're going to be breaking down some of my positions I'm holding as well as some stocks with some sort of opportunity. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, by all means, ask down in the comments. I have the chat room up and loaded here that is live. So if you guys have questions, want me to look at stocks, let me know. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and you're just clicking on this video, uh, check out my course. It's absolutely fantastic. We talk about how to find stock and opportunity, my strategies, mindset, pretty much how I've been a full-time trader for six years. Check it out down below. You guys can use code half off to get 50% off. First time I've ever done a sale this big. It's only valid for this week. So check it out down below, but guys, let's uh, jump into it here. So hope you guys are all killing it. Um, but let's make sure there's no audio issues or anything like that. And if you guys are watching, give me a huge thumbs up. And I appreciate every single one of you guys for hanging out with me on this fun uh, Thursday afternoon here. And what's exciting, guys, is next week I'm actually going to be in Florida. So it's going to be uh, exciting to do a different type of live stream. But... um. All right, so let's talk about some of the positions that we're holding, and then we'll talk about some stocks with some sort of uh, opportunity here. So moving on here to uh, stock number one is ICHR. Now looking at it here, one of the reasons why we like this one is it has heavy support here at about 3667. Uh, you guys can see it hit it in the past as support, as well as we have that 90 day moving average line. So one of the things here that I think is so incredibly important with swing trading is using a variety of indicators to get a general gauge of where that stock can go in the future. So if you have two you know, support lines, so if you have a price support, moving average line, undervalued on the RSI, those three things are going to give you a little more probability that we're going to see some buying pressure. And if you guys are new to the, you know, the, if this is your first video, for swing trading. Let me kind of explain to you what I do. So I find stocks with some sort of upward trend that have sold off down to some level of support. Now the support could be price support. So you guys can see right here, we've gotten tendencies of getting a little buying pressure at about 36.81. You guys can see it hit it. We got that great buying pressure as well as I love using moving average lines and RSI lines. So I use the 90 day and then I use the 200 day moving average lines. These are indicators that act as support and resistance and trends. So you can get a general gauge of where that stock stock is going here. So uh, the other indicator I use is something called the RSI line, which is the relative strength index. It pretty much determines the momentum for a stock. So you guys can see that ticker symbol ICHR was trading for about a 21 on the RSI, which is pretty low. Let's go back and look at the last time it was trading for, for that. It was all the way back in here where we had, or even in here where we had this little move going forward. Let's continue to go back here and see if we can find, even here it got close, you know, where, where we had that move up. So it's just a very, very undervalued point for this stock. So giving us a higher probability that we could see more buying pressure enter. But I see ICHR is one we're holding. We got CCJ here. Great, great support on that 200 day um, textbook trade. The 90 and the 200 are the moving average lines I use. The 200 day will always act as a harder support than the 90. Um, but if I was going to pick a trade, I always would try to trade it on the 200 just because it's a harder support, right? Um, geez, I got, um, but all right, next one here is ticker symbol VRRM. This one here has been on a nonstop roar going up. So we're doing a trailing stop. So now if it dips pretty much below a 24, pretty much $24 will hop out. But this thing has been moving and grooving. Very similar thing here. It used that, it came down to that 90 and then rallied up ever since. It's been on a nonstop roar going up. So trailing stop, if it dips below 24, we'll take our profits. But guys, if this thing continues to rally, that is going to be fantastic. Great, great profits there. Um, oh, you. all right. We have a somebody looking at one of the stocks here. So, all right. 
Carter, I remember I watched you from Bangladesh. Welcome. He always joins in. I appreciate you hanging out with me here. I took a position in a TL at 1080. Should I hold it um, to last resistance level or close the position? So R-I-O-T here. R-I-O-T. All right. So he hopped in near and around this. Where'd you hop in at? 1080 you hopped in at around 1080 which is very strong support here great great entry here you guys can see we've seen that tendency using that you know pretty much that price as support here in the past curl down so what what i would do if i were you right let's look back so we know that this stock has used these 200 day moving average lines as resistance right it hits it and we've gotten some sell-off here right so you, hits it several times so what i would do if i was holding this position i probably would set my stop loss as of right now below near and around probably this 12 10 mark to 12 dollars. so if it dips below that point take your profit and move on to to the next opportunity now the reason why i say that is because we've seen that tendency of it using it as resistance that 200 day when it's below it right when the stocks are below it they act as resistance when the stocks are above it they act as support so he's wondering should he sell his shares right now what i would do here let's make it a little easier for you guys so you guys can see what i would do is i would set my stop loss near and around here so if this does dip down just take your profit but if it continues to rally up, then you're then you're in a great spot. That's what I would do. Now you also could have that mindset of you know I've never lost money taking profit. If you feel confident, if you want to get in, if you want to get out with profit, take your profit. You know that's what I would do here. Um, but let's move on to some other ones. Here is ticker symbol UNP. This one here, you guys can see. Let's delete our little uh, drawing out tool. This one here really hit that trend line now has been moving up small small shares with this one hopefully we're gonna gonna get that trend line it actually is doing a relatively decent job here as you guys can see on that trend line so could see a move up to like 254 to 257 that would be a dream here finding stocks on these sort of trend lines supports is where the money gets made that's how you make money as a trader is just short momentum and you know the thing about trading and swing trading is it's it's not about these 20 or 200 percent returns or you know 10 it's about those two three four percent returns that is where you're going to make most of your money as a swing trader and because what you're going to do is compound your account so if if you make profits today you can use it as leverage tomorrow that's the way i've always looked at trading is it's always kind of a little bit leveraged because you're going to make profits today. That's the goal. That's your only reason why you trade and, and buy stocks is to make money. You don't do it because it's fun or because your friends tell you to. You do it to make money. So if you can, um, what was it? Where was I going with this? But yeah, so if you if you guys can, you know, minimize your losses, all that stuff, and and you'll be in a good spot here. But all right, let's move on to the next one here. I don't know what I was talking about there. It's ticker symbol P-A-R-R. Great trade on that 90-day moving average line. You guys can see it hits it several times. We took a trade near and around this 35.05 um, area. Now, this thing has been on a non-stop roar. Trailing stop is going to be pretty much below 37 to $38. So if it does dip below that, we'll take our profits. But great trade. Risk $1 as of right now to make, let's see here, the risk and reward. $1 to make $6.30. Took a little small profit at, you know, 37 and then it has been moving. TAL here is another trade that we were looking at. We did trade this nice move from 1188 to 1280 a nice little dollar move it came back down to that 90 and then has been moving up so we'll see if we can get more buying pressure going up we do have that general downward trend so you got to take profits a little sooner and uh you know take profits a little sooner set your stops a little tighter here next one here is ticker symbol ppg here this one was a great trade we can delete it like we said if I'm going to trade a stock and go heavy on it, I'm going 200 day moving average line. And that's kind of what we did. Great move from 137 to 143. 
like I said, it's not about these moves of 30, 40%. Um, all right. Hey, Carter, I just opened up a Moomoo account uh, the other day and deposited $100. What do I need um, to enable option trading? What do I need to enable? I don't trade options. Now, I can, if you message me on Instagram, I can get a hold of Moomoo for you. But I, I just buy shares. I, I don't use margin. I don't. I don't use option. And if you're just starting out with with trading, look into paper trading and learning. You know, learn as much as you can. Just because uh, most traders fail. That's the reality of it. So you need to have some sort of edge over others. And in my opinion, having experience is a great edge to have over um, people. So. Um, that's what I would do. How do you, how do you feel about trailing stops? I use them. I love trailing stops. They're absolutely fantastic. Ninety-five percent of my trades are trailing stops because looking at like this stock here, my original thought process was going to take profit right here, right at twenty-three. I could have taken taken profit. But I would have missed out on this massive move, right? If I wasn't using a trailing stop. So as of right now, the stock is continuing to rally. Made me, you know, definitely a couple um, hundred dollars more. That's for sure. Let's see. So doing a trailing stop. Whoa, wait. Why did I click that? Doing a trailing stop here made me. Where is the price range right here? An extra four percent on a single trade. Um, how do you calculate what? All right, how do you calculate what percent you use for a trailing stop? So for me, it's honestly, it's not really percent, so to speak. I obviously two percent's kind of like two to three percent is going to be most of my max um, for some sort of stop loss. So like if it dips down two three percent, that's where I'm like, all right. But what most of it is here, so. Like on a trade like this here, where we hopped in at 120, you know, 120 or 2173, I'm gonna set my stop below these wicks here. You guys can see these wicks that dip down. I'm gonna set my stop loss below here. That's kind of my plan. And and the reason why is because if we do get some sell off, like if we did get sell off here and it goes back down to these levels, I'm not gonna get stopped out. I'm going to be able to hold my position because then it then it rallied up. You know these wicks just represent buying pressures. So if I set my stop below it, I try I try to have a, I set my trailing stop to five percent. Yeah, I mean whatever works well for you guys. I I've always done two. I I have the mindset of of just constantly trying to take profit. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Um, can you invest long term on Mumu or is it made for day trading? So, in my opinion, Mumu is a trading broker. It's it's great for trading. It's what I've used for trading, but for like long term investing, I do use other brokers. I do have an M1 Finance account, which I'm actually looking to get a new new long term broker because I've heard a rumor that M1 Finance is going to be charging three dollars a month. So we'll see what happens with that, but. I have a uh, Roth IRA with Robinhood because it's a one, easy one percent match, so guaranteed money. Uh, on top of that, I have what else do I have? I have Robinhood, Roth IRA, and I think just I'm on finance. And my wife has the same the same ones too. But uh, all right, let's move on to some other ones here. We did PPG, NVS here. Hopefully, we we're going to get a little buying pressure on that old resistance that acted as new support in the past. So. We're up a little bit. This stock never moves that much. I don't even know why I trade it. Um, you know, this is like 0.5%, but not that big of a deal. AEG here. Um, great move on. You guys can see. Let's delete this so you guys can see it a little clearer. Hit that 90, moved its way up, rode that trend line before we got that move up. So this one here. Cool, loving the channel. Thanks again. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, all right, let's move on. Shopify, great trade. Um, we we've been holding this for like eleven or twelve days, which is a little over the average because I hold on average about about six to nine. But still, made we went very heavy on this position, so we definitely made a good amount of money on this. But 
Great trade on that 90, pretty much hit it once, got a little buying pressure, just kind of consolidated here, right? So so that's why like having your trailing stop set below, you know, the the 90 is super nice because if it was at the 90, I would have gotten stopped out right here, but since it was below it, you know, just traded along and then we got that move going forward. Um, Google has been on a nonstop roar rate right on the 200 going up, had that nice gap up. Great, great trade. F-O-L-D here. This one we uh, we got stopped out on. Not a big deal. No traders perfect. You know, lost to 2% two or so. C-N-C, good trade on that 90. Moving its, you know, moving its way down now, but great, great trade. And then BLND, great trade on that 90, moving its way up. Right now, you know, trailing stop's going to be near and around that $3 area. So if it dips below, we'll take our profits. But uh, yeah. All right. Now let's talk about some stocks with some sort of opportunity here. So not that much. You guys know most of the stocks we um, kind of find uh, throughout the week you know, in the group chat, we always put them in, but uh, DLR, this one here, near and around, I mean, that 90, it is a little high above it, but I threw it on watch just to see what will happen. We do have this upward trend. It's used it as su- that 90 day moving average line as support. So hopefully we can get some some sort of move from 140 to 152. That would be a dream. Um, then we got McDonald's that hit that 200 moving its way up, which is really good to see. Um, then we got PBR here. This one here is kind of just going flat, right? It hit it, hit it and has been just consolidating. Um, almost got stopped, you know, here, but it's still at a relatively decent price. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get some buying pressure up. Um, what is the minimum or maximum risk reward uh, ratio you prefer. Obviously, the higher up you go, you know, but I will gladly take a trade like two to one. If I feel super confident, I'll take a two to one uh, trade all day long, you know, all day. It, like I believe, I believe Google wasn't wasn't a super high risk and reward, but it's it's a blue chip company. It has those same tendencies of it using as support on those moving average lines. So yeah, it, I think it a lot of it. Uh, just comes down to the kind of position that you're in. So like my plan, my plan was not having this thing squeeze up. I did a trailing stop the whole time this thing moved up. Let's let's move this down. So like this, actually it was better than I thought. Um, so this was about a 2.5 risk and reward. So not the greatest, but I felt super confident in this trade. So I, I will trade a two to one. Obviously I would prefer higher, but yeah, I I, I mean, two to one is probably the minimum um, for, for that here. Uh, next one here is CMPS. This one here is kind of consolidating on that 90 day moving average line. It's hit it in the past as some sort of support. So hopefully we can get a move going forward. Like I said, risk and reward. This one, if I were gonna trade it, I would go very light just because it has so many resistance here. So we have resistance here at 10, more resistance here at 1160. So, you know, we have very hard resistance actually here at, you know, this this $10 mark. So very lightly traded. That's why looking at previous resistance and previous history is super important. Uh, C-A-B-A here. This one here looks very strong. Nice upward trend. Sold off down to some level of support. Uh, let's draw this out. So if we hopped in at 1771, we would set our stop below that wick right here, which is near and around this 620 area. Our profit would be up here at that old, you know, old uh, support that will act as new resistance. So it's a two to one risk and reward, but I do like how we've had that great upward trend. The downsides to it, the downsides to it is gonna be where it, we've seen these tendencies of these massive wicks, right? These massive wicks would, could possibly get you stopped out if you have a hard stop in place with your broker. If you do something like a mental stop, that might be better, but you guys can see we've had those tendencies of those huge wicks. So you just gotta be cautious with something like this. Um, But definitely, I think we could see some potential with this one. 
um, INFY, very similar situation here. Trading on that, you know, trading on that 200 could see a move from 18 to 19, if not a breakout to almost 20 to 21 um, for INFY. And all of you guys in the uh, team, in the course, I will send you guys screenshots of all the positions we're holding. Um, but yeah, guys, these were all the stocks that I'm in on. If you guys have any questions, by all means, ask. And we still got to do Trader of the Week. We got to do Trader of the Week for all of you course members. Um, so, and what's cool about the the uh, tr being being the Trader of the Week? If you guys are nominated, you guys, I send you guys this. This is a trading journal. It's absolutely fantastic. You track your performance, your mindset, trade breakdowns, your setups, your uh, your checklist for your entries, or you guys can get it on Amazon for like ten bucks. So. But yeah, so the winner and Kathy won last week and I already sent her hers. They do take a little longer because I got to print them out. So they, they take about two weeks to get just so as everyone knows. But um, uh, the trader of the week for this week is going to be uh, Quill and the team. I'll message you or you message me, whatever works. Um, you are now the trader of the week. So you will be getting one of these, which is great. So um, guys. Yeah, that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, by all means, ask. Don't forget to check out my swing trading course where you guys can use code half off to get 50% off. 50% off. It's only valid for this week. So, uh, oh, we got one more. We got one more. I bought a blue chip company. Let's see here. Uh, o W L. O W L. So you bought it when it was up 4%. So what's your question? Are you not sure what to do? Is it up? What's it at? It's up 4%. Did you buy it today? I mean, you got it. Okay. If this is a long-term play, if this is if this is a long-term play, I mean, you could try dollar cost averaging it. So if it does dip down a little bit, you know, if that's just say it sells off from 18 to 16 or even 15, just try to buy it at a cheaper price and then it'll get your average cost cheaper. That would be kind of my plan with it. I bought in stocks at all time highs. I buy it, I dollar cost average every week. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it all the, it all comes down to uh, kind of what, um, how long you're looking to hold. But uh, yeah, guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Quill, I'll be sending you that. And yeah. Uh, don't forget to check out my swing trading masterclass so you guys could be um, possibly get one of these very soon. And guys, we're leaving for Florida um, tomorrow. I'm driving 20 hours from Michigan all the way down to Florida. So it's going to be a long drive, but uh, I'm excited. And yeah, so next week's live may be a little earlier or a little later, depending on my vacation, because you know how vacations get. But all right, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later, everyone.